So here we are with the posterior compartment of the forearm. Now the posterior compartment of the forearm has a good number of muscles. Some people say they're 11, some people say they're 12. We're going to go with 12 because I want to be complete with how many muscles you need to know. So here they are. Keep in mind this is again the extensor side. You're going to extend things, you're going to supinate things. 12 muscles altogether. So let's start with the superficial layer. We're going to divide into superficial and deep layer. And so again our borders are going to be the ulna and then where we jump across the antecubital fossa with the brachial radialis. So let's start from the ulna because you hopefully will never get lost from the ulna. So once we start from there, the first muscle is this guy, is the extensor carpi ulnaris. So this is the extensor carpi ulnaris. If you went on this other side, palmar side of the ulna, that would be flexor carpi ulnaris, but this is the extensor carpi ulnaris. The next muscle directly next to this is a one muscle, if you follow the tendon, only goes to the pinky. This is called the extensor digiti minimi, D-I-G-I-T-I-M-I-N-I-N-I. -I -I -N -I -N -I. Uh, so use up all your scrabble eyes there. So that's the extensor digiti minimi. The next muscle over, notice it goes over to multiple digits. As you can see, this is the extensor digitorum. Once we see the extensor digitorum, uh, there is the extensor digitorum longus, but that's in the leg. Uh, so we're just going to keep with extensor digitorum. That's how you delineate it. We continue on with all our muscle bellies here. This is called the extensor carpi radialis. But there's another extensor carpi radialis, but that's why we call it the extensor carpi radialis brevis, as compared to this one, the extensor carpi radialis longus. As you can see, the tendon tends to be longer. Last superficial layer here would then be the brachial radialis, which then um, is not necessarily a flex or extensor, it's actually a flexor. And you're like, what's it doing on the extensor side? Well, it's mainly because of uh, innervation. It's all innervated by the same nerve as the posterior compartment of the forearm. But it's actually a flexor of the forearm. It actually attaches to the stylar process and uh, it flexes the elbow and then supinates if you're off neutral or pronates if you're off neutral as well. So that's the superficial layer. When we talk about the deep layer, you mainly focus around the area closest to the thumb and then one extra one. Uh, so I like the acronym ABLI because then it keeps me in track. ABLI. You'll find you get these three in a row and then uh, this little tendon that goes in the index finger. But this is here, the first one, let's start with this one. This is called the abductor pollicis longus. Abductor pollicis longus. Notice it's the first one going to the closest to the palmar side of the thumb. Then it's the extensor pollicis brevis. This one that you can't really see the muscle belly, but we can see its tendon is the extensor pollicis longus. And then the last one is this muscle that goes up to the index finger. We call it the extensor indices. Now in between here, this is what we call the anatomical snuff box. These extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus make this anatomical snuff box where, you know, if you kind of extend your hand like this, you'll see a little pocket form. Uh, that's the anatomical snuff box. So let's review, starting from the ulna, or oh, sorry, one more, and that's the supinator. If I pull off the brachial radialis, you'll notice the supinator wrapping around uh, the radius and it supinates you. All right, so those are all our muscles that we're, uh, uh, actually, I apologize, I lied one more time. We get the last one, this is called the anconius. Uh, some people say it's the extension of the lateral head of triceps, but we'll consider it a forearm muscle. You can't see it right by the elbow, but this is called the anconius. All right, let's take a look. Start from the very beginning, and it goes straight through. So starting from the ulna, this is the extensor carpi ulnaris the extensor digiti minimi, the extensor digitorum, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi radialis longus, brachial radialis. Pull this apart. Supinator, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, extensor pollicis longus, and extensor indices. Those are our muscles.